demonstrate how to use the magnetic needle as a helper to find north and show you how to adjust your compass for your specific area. A compass is a tool to find north in the real world where there is magnetism. The space plate has nothing to do with finding north so we'll just cover it with a sticky for now. North is the direction towards the geographic north pole, the farthest point north on earth. South pole, north pole, Santa. This direction is what we're talking about when we say north and it's also called true north. To use your compass, the end on the ring has to be pointed towards north. Well, bummer, in most places on Earth, the north, red end of the magnetic needle on your compass, doesn't point directly to north. The magnetic needle aligns with the magnetic field around it. The direction of the magnetic field varies all over the Earth, and, by the way, it also moves. Where the north, red end of the needle points is called magnetic north. Don't confuse this with true north, which is the stable direction towards the North Pole. This difference between north and magnetic north is called declination. You can look up the local declination online, and once you know it, you can use the magnetic needle as a reliable helper to find north. Here's how. To use the magnetic needle as a helper to find north, you have to adjust your compass. On your compass, we have this red outline for the needle that we can move. This compass has not been adjusted. This compass has been adjusted. See the outline is not lined up with the N on the ring? It's over here, east of north. It's adjusted so that it matches your declination, the difference between north and magnetic north, where the needle points. In Southern California, the declination is 12 degrees east of north, so that's what you'll set on your compass. This outline is called the orienting arrow. When you use the magnetic needle, you always use the orienting arrow with it. Here's how to move the orienting arrow on your compass so it looks like this. It's easy. Turn your compass over and look at the back. There's a little brass screw, and on the lanyard is a little key. Push the little key in there real good so it won't slip, and turn it clockwise about a half a turn until the indicator right here, this little black tail right here, points to 12 degrees east declination. Just turn it back and forth until you get it right. There we go. See, that was easy. Try to set yours before your first outing, okay? Now flip the compass back over. You see that the orienting arrow no longer points to the N on the ring. Good! Now we can use the magnetic needle as a helper to find north. Rotate the whole compass until the red end of the orienting arrow lines up with the red end of the needle. We call that trapping the needle, or boxing the needle, or even putting red in the shed. When the needle is trapped, the N on the ring points in the direction of true north, to the North Pole, like it's supposed to. See, the magnetic needle doesn't point to north, but it's making the N on the ring point to north. So remember, why do we trap the needle? We trap the needle so the N on the ring points to north. You won't forget that, will you? We trap the needle so the end on the ring points to north. Okay, now you're ready for fun. West declination, and if you're on the west coast, it's going to be east declination. So you're going to want to calibrate your compass. So let me show you guys exactly how to do that before we even get started. So on this compass, there is a magnetic declination uh, corrector on the back. So if you flip the compass over to the back right here, you're going to see a little point right there that you can adjust. Now, actually, this compass actually comes with a little tool that you can adjust it with. So since we live, or I live, on the East Coast, we're going to be going with the West declination. So once again, if you live on the East Coast, you're going to do West Declination. If you live on the West Coast, you're going to do East Declination. In our case, it's going to be West Declination. So I'll show you guys exactly how to do that. So if you take a look at the compass right here, you see those little numbers on the bottom right there, right over here. And you see this side says West Declination, and this side says East Declination. So, like I said before, 
we are west declination because we're on the east coast. So what we're going to want to do when we adjust it is, I don't know if you guys see this little symbol right here. You're going to crank this little knob over here. So you're going to crank this little knob over here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reset it. If you see it's moving to zero. All right, so when you first get your compass, it's going to be right there on zero. Now, since we're on the east coast, we're going to want to move it towards the west declination right here, 13 degrees. So you're going to crank it. And you see how it moves towards the west declination. Now we're going to be adjusting for 13 degrees. Depending on which state you live in, it's going to be different for each individual state. So 13 degrees, right about there. That's just a rough estimate. So if we lived on the west coast, we would be adjusting for east declination and we would have turned it the opposite way. But we don't, we live in New York. So we adjusted it for west declination, 13 degrees that way. Now, when you use your compass, it's good to go. You don't gotta worry about any kind of declination. Only time you need to change that is when you move to a different geographical area. All right, guys. So we have our declination set on our compass for our geographical location. Now we're gonna find out how to get to where we wanna go using a map. So we got our map here. We got our declination indication here. That's already set. Now I'm just gonna use a blown up proportion of this map. About there's a six degree difference between magnetic north and grid north. Even tells you right here, the magnetic declination of six degrees west at the center of the map on June 11th, 2018. So I want to go ahead and I want to add six degrees to my compass, or if you have a Sunto MC2, you flip it over and it tells you east or west. So six degrees west, or simply add six degrees. Now looking at our Sunto MC2 bezel ring, we have a declination indicator right here, it's set to zero. And I mentioned before it was six degrees west. So there's our west, and there's our east declination. So I want to go ahead and I want to add 6 degrees to this. On the back side of our Sunto MC2, we have an adjustment screw right there. We also have our declination indicator. It tells me western declination and eastern declination. So I want to go ahead and I want to add 6 degrees. So I want to rotate using a key or a small screwdriver. I want to adjust it and move that indicator 6 degrees. Every single one of these red tick marks represents 2 degrees. So placing a key or a small screwdriver into our adjustment pin, we can now rotate this left or right. So I want to head to the west. I want to add six degrees. It's two, four, six. All right, so we've already adjusted our compass to grid north and accounted for that six degree offset or six degree difference. So to do this, all we gotta do, take our compass, place it at the bottom left corner, line up the edge of my base plate with that line or that border of that map. And just like our first video, we're gonna put red in the shed or that dog in that doghouse. 